Hi, welcome to another SPR Productions video. Make Rail Sexy Again is about shifting the way we think about urban design in India. In this video, we discuss the current state of urban transportation and why it's critical for railways to play a major role in the development of our cities. The former mayor of Bogota, Colombia, Enrique Peñalosa once said, An advanced city is not one where even the poor use cars, but rather one where even the rich use public transport. Here's a chart of how Indians commute in our cities. The largest percentage of people walk. This is followed by cyclists. In fact, over 50% of us commute using non-motorized transport. This is surprising since the road space dedicated to pedestrian sidewalks or protected cycle paths is almost non-existent. When it comes to motorized transport, scooters and motorcycles lead, followed by buses. Private cars only make up 4% of journeys, along with another 4% for taxis and rickshaws. 5% of commuters use trains, which is understandable since most cities are just starting to introduce mass transit systems. Car ownership in India is on the rise. In the last decade alone, the number of cars on the road has tripled. The car conjures up images of the open road, beautiful scenery, and the wind in your hair. It's synonymous with high status, freedom, and independence. However, the reality of driving a car is more like this. Long commutes, traffic congestion, road rage, air pollution are just a few of the problems we face every day. The city's highest court recently said that living in Delhi was like living in a gas chamber. Despite this, the number of cars in India is forecast to grow by 775 percent by 2040. That means for every car on the road today, seven will be competing for the same limited space. This suggests that a lot of people are about to switch to private transportation, which would be devastating to our already strained infrastructure. For years, we have pushed for better roads and the governments have responded by adding lanes, building flyovers and new expressways. However, the traffic has only gotten worse. In 2008, the average Delhi commuter had a one-way commute time of around 43 minutes, while in Mumbai, it was 47 minutes. This averages out to around 8 hours 46 minutes per week. In 2015, that weekly average was up to 12 and a half hours. Longer commute times negatively affect economic productivity, social engagement, family relations, as well as personal health. <laughs> the fact is that Indian cities, which were founded long before mainstream adoption of the automobile, simply lack the available urban land area to create the wide streets massive parking lots and controlled access highways needed to handle such growth. Even international cities like Los Angeles and Dubai, which have invested heavily in car-based infrastructure, still have persistent traffic problems. This is why we need a fundamental shift in the way we think about urban design in India. To focus on moving people instead of moving cars, to dedicate space to the people who need it the most, and to make choices which are sustainable and scalable for a better future. This is why we need to make rail sexy again. In part two, we'll be discussing how it can happen. Thank you for watching this SPR Productions video.